Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. And Specific Pixel. And this is the Legend of Dragoon. Welcome back. Last time we fought the Divine Dragon, King of Dragons. Yeah, although I can't say we defeated him. Yeah, you did. Sure. Mmm. Loi got the killing blow, though. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't an easy fight, but you won. Well, yeah, that's, that's a true statement. That's you, for sure. You earned it. Sure. Okay. So, time to leave the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon. Yeah, but before that, um, you know I gotta go back up here and check for secret items, right? Yeah, if we, we missed something last time. Something I forgot to point out to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. Right here, it's, like, it's very difficult to see. There you go, you can see when the lid comes off. Yeah, right there on that little, behind that little outcropping of rock, we get a speed down. Oh my gosh, old man, don't speak that evil into the world. Oh lord. Imagine yeah. an NPC, like, kill-stealing you, and then they level up. And just to rub it in your face, the game is like, ha, <laughs> look at these levels they gained. Honestly, if a, didn't. if a game I played actually did that, I I would be mad, but I would also be laughing at the same time, Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, no, that would be very funny. If they, like, jumped in at the last instant and won, and then it pops up and, like, they get a, a victory screen. It makes me think of the um, that April Fool's joke. Uh, video that Final Fantasy, ooh, nice, that Final Fantasy XIV published, all, like, several years ago. I remember people kept joking about Minfilia not doing anything for the Scions. Oh. <laughs> and so yeah. it was this whole group effort where they were fighting Livia Sasjunas, and uh, then at the very end, Minfilia jumped in and, like, claimed the credit after everybody else beat her. Yes, that was so funny. Very funny. I laughed at that. Nice. Nice. So, uh... Would have to laugh if that happened here too, I think. I love how the skybox just cuts off and there's like black. <laughs> no more sky for you. Skyant. <laughs> Alright, let's get off this mountain. Let's get off this rock. It'd be nice if we had some charm potions, but when you know you're going into a big boss fight, you can't spare the room to carry a bunch. Yeah. Like, charm potions are kind of a... They're a net waste when you are in a dungeon versus if you're just trying to get somewhere unmolested on the world map, I guess. Once again, stopped by the inventory space. Yeah. I appreciate that since turning into a Dragoon is such a big, like, important part of the game, that they went out of their way to give everybody not only additional combat animations, but also, like, an additional victory pose. For yeah. if you finish the fight in Dragoon form. Instead of being lazy and just letting them convert back to their default form and then going through their regular victory pose right, or something. Or being even lazier and uh, not giving them a victory pose at all. Like, they just continue their idle flight animation. Hey! What uh, are you still doing here? This asshole. Lloyd! Yes, that is who it is. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Well, they did. We've learned a secret. This is fine. Ah! I didn't know he was one of the Winglies. Really, you hadn't put that together yet? Now, well, <laughs> for, for anyone just joining us, plot twist. Now we have definitive proof. Rose, come on. Rose is fine, but that little fall could not stop Rose. Yeah, the silver hair is a big clue. <laughs> Can you tell me who I am? I've been asking that question all game long. I thought you were dead. Question mark? Dots. Don't worry. I'm carrying out your will. We took this world back together. I won't let them ruin it. Farage, Embryo, the moon with black power. Hell yeah, black power. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think she means that kind of black power. Yeah, I don't power. think she means like minority empowerment and, and like community like well-being she's 
Are you talking about the black monster? Probably. Ah, flashback. Hmm. Deja vu. Yes, we have seen this cutscene before. A very neat flashback. All such flashbacks are kind of neat. The majority of them. In this game, yeah. Stay here. Yes, well hidden in this log in plain sight. Take care of Dart. It's tiny Dart. Hmm. <laughs> Mini Dart. Your father is a strong person. You have that strength in you. So. You can wait here by yourself, okay? <laughs> Child endangerment. Where are you going? I want it to be like, you know, like his regular voice. Like, where are you going? But like higher. <laughs> where are you going? Like that? Sort of. I'm going back to the village to fight. Really? I will protect your hometown with your father. Live strong. Like, see, she already has just given it up. Like, she knows she's going to die. Yeah. She's just like, oh, you're strong like your father, so I'm going to go die, and you can live, you know, like, you, you can protect yourself, right? You can Looks like I was alone. saying, child endangerment. It's the stuff heroes are made of. Yeah. Conveniently an orphan, I think, is the name of the trope. Mom? Dad? Anybody? Oh. This is my dad's important shiny stone. <laughs> this important shiny stone. I love the ellipses on that. Mom. Dad. Yes. That's how it happened. Yeah, we, we knew all of that already. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. Fester said, what really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all and the moon child who blesses the world? Is now really the right time to be asking that? Like, you just... Rose, what do you know about this? It's fine. Ahem. Dark! Rose! <laughs> oh, yeah, she can Oh, yeah, fly. she can fly! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, finally, I found you guys. Oh, boy, Rose... Oh, she passed out. Move away. I'll carry Rose first. Oh. I can't believe landing on her head after a 50 foot fall would knock her unconscious. You humans are weak. <laughs> Thin skulls. <laughs> Darn, I'm beaten. It's my fault. Letting him go. I apologize for it. It's not your fault, Rose. Nobody knew he was a wingly who can use magic. Except everybody. Had you guessed? The silver hair, like Crow? Yeah, like Crow said, I gave it away. Yeah. Don't worry. We will find out where he went. Where's Kongol? Kongol is never in these cutscenes. 
I agree. Void's objectives are still the Divine Moon objects. Miranda, there's no need for you to hide it. Tell us about the Divine Moon object in Mille Sasso. No, I don't want to. <laughs> it's not like you, Miranda. Don't hesitate. I guess there's no choice but to tell everything. The Divine Moon objects are said to be brought by Winglies. And it is said that they have a dreadful magic power concealed within. That is the reason why they were never allowed to be taken outside. A national treasure that has been kept a close secret. It is called the Moon Mirror. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it is called the Moon Mirror. <laughs> the successive thrones have been the keys to opening the seal. Oh, it cannot be. Queen Teresa's in danger. Man, they really did do Congo dirty. I know, right? Never shows up in a cutscene, and when he does, he's all... Yeah. Gets one speaking line. It's like, they, they do a really good job in the first part of the game before he joins you of characterizing him and even giving him some off-screen growth so that each time you see him, it, it feels kind of like something happened since between the last time and now um, and then he finally joins your party and it feels like after that he just kind of stops getting any spotlight as a character until towards the very end of the game when there's you know like everybody has a chance to, to kind of shine for a moment but in just random cutscenes like this they just fridge him <laughs> it's just not even there yeah it's kind of wild poor Kongle or Dart. He's fine. Dart's fine. Dart's a strong boy. He can take it. Oh, right. Yeah, he has his father's strength, so he can wait all alone. I love that these things are called Mega Sea Dragons. Like, why? What makes them so mega? Because they're really far from the sea, so I already don't believe that part, even though they look like seahorses. But then, like, one, they're fire elemental. So. Well, that's the dragon part you see. Is it? Yeah. I thought dragon and fire were two separate types. <laughs> oh, you have been gifted a frog. <gasps> oh! Thank you, Crow. I do love a good frog on this channel. I absolutely love a good frog on this channel. And all channels. Please give me the good frog. That's such a strange name for an attack. Nice. Madness hero. Are you the hero of madness? Well, we know that the localization is wonky on the English version of this game, so I would be very interested to know, because I have never looked it up, um, what the attack names are in Japanese. That like would be the cool direct know, yeah. translations. Nice. I like how it cuts him off at the end, and you almost never get to hear him actually say it all. It's like, Madness, hero! hero. <laughs> and we can finally get off this mountain. Whew. At last. Lord, it took half an hour just to leave. <laughs> we'll probably get into another fight before we get into the... Yep. Yep. Jinxed it. No, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that wasn't a jinx. That was a prophecy. That was a prediction. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, a bear. A wounded bear. Miranda coming in with, in the, with the confusion. Yeah, I'm loving it. Hard blade. He nice. smacked himself. Giving you a hand. 
Probably shouldn't be too much longer before we start seeing some of the others gain a Dragoon level here and there. I hope so. The ones you haven't had in the party for a while, of course, are going to be behind, but like uh, Rose especially, because you've been using her a lot. I'm very surprised that she has not already um, hit Dragoon Spirit level 4. I'm kind of surprised myself. I think part of that is actually because of the additions that she's been using. So, like, because we keep switching additions to level different ones up, it scatters the SP gain. So sometimes it's faster for a period and then it slows down for a while. Because you notice that Hard Blade is only giving her 35, which is the same as Whip Smack. Right. Whereas more and more, um, I think, gives her significantly more SP. What are you guys doing out here? I wonder where Sister Miranda and the other people are, and if they're safe. To make sure of that, we, the Sacred Knighthood, are going to act as reinforcements. Don't worry, there's no way our Sister Miranda can lose. Yes, indeed. We cannot imagine her losing. Uh, but, um... I cannot imagine that the giant dragon will lose either, honestly. I mean, Fair. it's a giant dragon, guys. Come on, did you see that thing? I mean, valid. Please don't say such an ill omen thing. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sister Miranda, Dart and company are legendary dragoons. We might not be needed. Dragoons? They are mere humans anyway. Ah, uh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Who is it? Who's... Were you doing him? I don't remember. Uh -huh. Humans don't need to know my name. Oh, no. Are you... A Wingly? What gave it away? Yes, I am. We were the rulers of you humans in ancient Endinus. And now I am your executioner. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. This is what you asked for. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. No, you're just an asshole. A racist asshole. This is the great battle of liberation. You're not being oppressed. Yeah, and your scream is its overture. You conceited humans, go to hell. The conceited one is you. Oh, you are... Mr. Lloyd. You are so easily overtaken. You block the magic power. Who are you? I don't need to answer you. Watch your mouth. Mr. Lloyd. <laughs> I won't let anybody hinder the liberation of Wingleys. I'll annihilate all humans. Whatever. Liberation of Wingleys. You are so old-fashioned. Can't believe I agree with Lloyd on something. A world without humans. It wouldn't be any different from the forest you're cooped up in. I've made many sacrifices for my ideals. But your ideals cannot be achieved unless you annihilate everything. Of course! My grudge, my hatred, I'll settle them all with human lives. You should not be alive. Uh-oh. Yeah, exactly, Braylor. Yeah, like, if you spend a you know, million years oppressing somebody else and then got overthrown, like, that's not oppression. <laughs> this whole exchange is like the poster child for uh, people who believe that equality is an attack on their privilege. I won't die alone. Yes, she will. Bardell casts self-destruct. It was not very effective. Basically. Mr. Lloyd? I went out of my way. Oh, you're wounded. Please let us treat you at the castle. Don't do that. Did you see her put her hand directly on his butt? It's so fine. Don't worry about it. 
Get it, sister. Yeah, so fair warning for people uh. like me who are very picky about redemption arcs. Mm, picky, you say? Yeah, I think it can be done well. You can have a villain that earns their redemption. Uh, but I think it's very important from a creative standpoint that as a as a creator, you can't just decide that a character is redeemed. Your audience has to agree with you. And if they don't, then the redemption wasn't successful. So I, just, I still don't have enough information on what Lloyd is trying to achieve to yeah. to figure out if I redeem him or not. Like right now, no. Yeah, but just just fair warning. This game tries that, and oh, you can draw your own conclusions about whether it succeeds or fails for you. Die. Huh. Hard Interesting. Okay, so Madness Hero is the same in Japanese and English. Huh. Huh. Hmm. It's weird. So, yeah, I wonder why they decided to call it that. Oh, Lord. You know, actually, I have a theory. Yeah? Hardcore Blade. Oh. Hmm. I like that. Hardcore Blade. What if she said that every time? But no, I That think, would be cool. I think I might have a theory about the Madness Hero thing. Okay. Right? So, with the caveat, of course, that if you grind enough, and there are definitely people who do this, it is certainly possible to level up and to have access to all of a character's additions, like, way earlier in the game than you typically get them because they're based on level, and they're based on, in some cases, um, grinding up the levels of previous editions that come before. Um, yes, a game theory. <laughs> so uh, so that, that means that you could theoretically have Madness Hero like way, way, way early in the game for Dart, right? But it's very unlikely, and that's obviously not what the game intends. Right. That, I say to preface that Madness Hero, generally speaking, like the intention is you're not going to get it until well after you've gotten your Dragoon Spirit, right? Oh, so are you talking about the whole uh, going to war is a madness that humans induce exactly, upon themselves? Exactly, exactly. Like, so huh. by the time that you get Madness Hero, Rose should probably have had that conversation and had it explained at least the first time. Okay. How, like, the Dragoon Spirits magnify the insanity of, of combat, and uh, it's it's a whole, like, spiritual and emotional magic and that kind of thing. So Dart is yeah. able to control it because he has a strong spirit, right? So, like, the madness overtakes him, but he is still a good person. He's still, you know, a champion of justice and more so madness hero. That maybe actually makes it. a lot of sense. Ma maybe wow. that's Wow, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I can believe that. Yeah, that that is my best off the cuff theory. Um. Oh, Sister Miranda. Oh, Commander of Knights, we were successful defeating the Divine Dragon, and what happened to you? You're injured. Queen Teresa, Queen Teresa was abducted. What did you say? By who? A man called L Lloyd. We're too late. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> okay. Miranda. Yeah. I, it's probably supposed to be played off for comedy, at maybe, or something, but like both times she just punches this guy. Yeah. And when he's kind of like doing his job, and I don't know if I care for it. Like it's funny in the moment, and I, I don't know if it's supposed to be intentional comedy. But for me, it's just like, dude, don't shoot the messenger. Like, I, I hate that he brought you bad news, too. But it's not his fault that Lloyd showed up and, and was a wingly at the queen. <laughs> Do you know where he took her? Well, is Miranda going to punch me again? If I tell her something she doesn't like? Oh, yes, gosh, she will. She is. This is. Sister Wink might know something. My sisters are safe, aren't they? Everyone is waiting for the group to come back to the Crystal Palace. Please don't hit me again. Oh, thank God she's gone. I don't get paid enough for this. 
Yeah, that's what it is. Shauna doesn't have additions because the devs were lazy. Miranda doesn't have additions because it would make her... Yeah, the OP. game would be over. <laughs> yeah. Because imagine if that's her... Actually, you know, it makes a lot of sense. She runs up and punches no, you. No, no, think part. about it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah? She hit him right-handed. She's an archer. Yeah? That's her bowstring arm. Oh, yeah. That's her strong arm. That's her strong arm. Her <laughs> strong She arm. hit him with her strong arm. Uh, do I need to... You probably should go to the inn. Yeah, the inn's on the next screen. I was wondering if I should buy some items, but I think I'm okay. Oh, how much stardust do you have? 45? Yes. Yeah, uh, talk with Martel again, because last time I don't think you had that many, because you picked up one in neat, remember? Uh... So I think you gave her 40, and she might give you something at 45. I know she gives you something at 50. Nope. Okay, so okay. You, need, you need five more. There are only five more, so... That's kind of exciting. I wonder what the last item oh, she is. She just stole the red-eyed dragoon spirit and just, like, bit into it like a hard candy. Oh, my God. <laughs> just crunching on it. Like when you bite into, a like, a blow pop or something, just shatters. <laughs> She's crunching it open mouth. <laughs> I'm the protagonist now. <laughs> this is my game. God. That's how you activate the Dragoon Spirit, right? You eat it. This is a JRPG. Flying enemies are weak against shooting attacks. <laughs> she just starts, like, just zapping winglies out of the air. Dragons, Virage, who cares? Not her. Not her. Not Miranda. Oh, I see Shauna slept through our epic battle. That's fine. She's had a rough day. She has. Well, good. And also, that way, like, good. She won't know that that uh, you got a game over. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's been a Whoop. long conversation. Of course, much has happened. Set aside time for a long cutscene? Yes, a series of cutscenes will play in sequence. Mm. We recommend you set aside adequate time to you to view them. What do you mean that Queen Teresa was taken away? What happened? Let me tell you. A few days ago, when the howling of the dragon from the mountain of the mortal dragon stopped, we assumed he'd been successfully vanquished. Everyone everywhere was happy about it. That's That absolutely says everyone everyone. Yes. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is, I'm interpreting. As you should. Everyone everywhere. How long has it been since we've stopped hearing the howling of the Divine Dragon? It's been about one week now. Wow, really? Okay. Don't worry. Sister Luana said the feeling of the Divine Dragon is gone. I'm back. I have good news for you, Queen Teresa. As Sister Luana said, it seems they defeated the Divine Dragon. I'm glad. Now we can focus on the recovery of the country. I appreciate it, Wink. Please give the knights their well-earned rest. About the knights. My knighthood is currently being treated. A Wingly who had something against humans suddenly raided us. Winglies attacked you? According to Miranda, they are a friendly species. Some of the Winglies are militant. Like me. This gentleman repelled them so that we were able to come back to the castle safe and sound. Let me introduce him. His name is Mr. Lloyd, Your Majesty. 
It is a pleasure to meet you, your majesty. I am already scheming your demise. Not only that, it was Mr. Lloyd who gave us the good news of the successful vanquishing of the Divine Dragon. How did you find out about it? It was a coincidence. I saw Sister Miranda and her companions who completed the vanquishing in the Mount Dragon tomb. I understand. Let me express my gratitude to you. Actually, it was not the first time I was saved by Mr. Lloyd. Oh, I remember this gentleman's the man of the fate Sister Wink was talking about, isn't he? The man of the fate? The man of the fate? A Queen Teresa, she was saved from the bandits in Donau by this gentleman, too. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? Helping Wink and coming here. Sister Luana, what are you talking about? murderous intention you conceal inside. You cannot disguise it in front of me. Wink. Seti, stay back. I felt it too. Something very wrong. I hadn't intended to make a scene. However, sometimes it can't be avoided. <laughs> Teleports behind you. Queen Teresa! Mr. Lloyd, what on earth? Do not come closer. What do you want? I desire the moon mirror. The moon mirror? How do you know about it? You don't need to worry about that. You should just take me there, your majesty. Answer me. From the beginning. From the beginning? That was your purpose? Wink. Get away. I just desire the power to create a utopia. Queen Teresa, he's reading your mind. Shall we go to the last divine object? And they're gone. Hmm. The timeline that they give here kind of implies that Dart and friends were really dragging ass either that or like it took a long time for Meru to carry the two of them back up over the precipice because she said they stopped hearing the divine dragon's roars about a week ago right and in that scene Lloyd not only is already at the castle ahead of them uh but has obviously like been treated and healed so he's been there for long enough to kind of get back to full HP so to speak I mean we kept running into battles on our way down the mountain maybe it did take us a week yeah that's, that's what it is it's all those random encounters the last divine moon object is he going to end this Miranda where is the moon mirror in the tower of Flanvel to the west of Kashua Glacier Teresa is the key to the tower I'll take care of the rest. Sister Miranda, we will bring Queen Teresa back. We're not going to let uh, let Lloyd get what he wants. <laughs> We're not going to get Lloyd let. <laughs> let get, Lloyd's getting, we've got to get the lead out after I, Lloyd. I think Lloyd's getting to you. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so now we're heading for a tower that's next to a glacier. Hmm. Why does it seem like all JRPGs end with you going north to a glacier? I mean, a lot of them do. Oh my god. Please. Sir. Get out of the way. Thank you. Shh. Night was keeping me trapped here in the palace. Did you see that? <laughs> no, don't go. I have to. Bad things keep happening here. You must <laughs> stay and protect us. No! I I'm got begging stuff you. to do. Gosh. Hey, Shauna. I have never met a silver-haired protagonist or antagonist that I liked. Hmm. Maybe I should dye my hair. A color I hate? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, you do you, but like... 
That sounds counterproductive. <laughs> You're beautiful no matter what, but also, uh, like, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the weapon shop, isn't it? Uh, yes. Darn. I've already been here. I don't need anything from this. You're the one I want to talk to. Honestly, that second fight went pretty well, and you didn't have to use a whole lot of healing items. Still have three healing breezes. And one healing fog. We got a healing rain as well. I'm absolutely full up on items, though. Yeah. Well, you can sell that total vanishing. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's, you know, how often are you going to use that? Uh, you have a bunch of mind and body purifiers. God, don't I. You have a depetrifier, too, which I feel like if you get rid of that, then eventually you're going to need it. should probably keep one because like they are separate from I don't think a body purifier will fix petrification that's why there's a separate item but, right exactly um, you still got four angels prayers left because you only had to use one so yeah yeah I think that's gonna be okay maybe buy another healing fog or two because that's the single target item but you have plenty of multi heals I think that's gonna be okay for right now given given we have Miranda's healing. Mm -hmm. And that, and everything else. Yeah, you know. I think that's gonna be okay. And honestly, like we complain about the inventory system a little bit, but even in consideration, like like aside from Miranda's healing, because she's not always in the party, right? Right. Um, look at how few healing items you've actually used overall. I mean, you, that's true. Like you only carry four or five, and you know we only have thirty-two slots. Uh, but then you went into a battle with something like the Divine Dragon, and you came out with, like, five healing items left and you, after you took seven in. So that's really not bad. Hmm, I might want to switch up my party here pretty soon, too. Yeah, give someone else a chance to shine. You haven't used Meru in a while, and she's got a new addition. Maybe her and Hachelle? It has been quite some time since I've had either one of them in the party for any amount of time, hasn't it? That's probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Well, everybody's got current gear, you'll just have to swap around their accessories. I don't know who's wearing what at this point, other than Dart, Rose, and Miranda all had on either bravery amulet, amulets or I think Miranda's wearing the rainbow earring. You don't really need those now, uh, so... He's got a night shield, and she's got an attack badge. The attack badge is probably not bad for her. He doesn't need the night shield so much. He's got pretty good stats all around. He's a good, like, middling... Um... What do you think? Hmm. Maybe That's his magical bad. power defense? Or the magical ring, because his defense is better than his attack. Uh, it depends on whether or not... Like, because the magic attack only matters when you're a Dragoon, so, like, the spiritual ring is better overall. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the physical ring. Yeah. Maybe you should give that to Meru. There's the therapy ring, too. Which is always useful. Why don't you put the therapy ring on Hashel? Because then he won't have to guard very much and he can attack more, and that works because he's got pretty good speed. That's fair. And we can give uh... give Meru the uh, the the physical ring. Oh, I passed it. There you go. That'll give her like actually decent hit points. Yeah. And then give Dart like the bandit shoes back or something. 
somebody else wearing those. Maybe. You mean the bandit ring? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I think Kongle has that. Oh, I bet he does, yeah. Because yep. you had him in the party. Yep. Just give him anything then. And... There we go. There. Good enough. Oh, check their additions too. Oh, yeah. I'll do that after we get in here. Because I think both of them have a new one. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. So even if you want to use a more powerful one for right now, rather than grind up a new one, you probably still at least want to see it. What a cold place. You grew up in Mil Sasso. <laughs> it pierces through my aged bones. It's a land where the earth is eternally covered under ice. I understand that it must be harsh on someone who's never been here. Darn, I'm totally dying. Do you often visit such a place, Miranda? Mm. It's been a while since I came all the way here. Meru, you could put a coat on. Yeah, just saying. And I would often come here to find solace for my loneliness. You've got such a kind mother like Queen Teresa. How could you have a lonely time? Her Majesty Teresa... It's not my birth mother. What? No. Really? My true birth mother abandoned me. Hmm. After that, I met Her Majesty Teresa. Her Majesty Teresa cherished me when I was alone, as if I were her real daughter. Since then, I have never felt loneliness again. Stop feeling it now, and let's get to work. Hey, Kongol was in that one. Yeah! Hey, good for Kongol. What's everybody got on? Okay, he's still got Summon Four Gods. Man, I haven't maxed out any of his yet. No, I haven't used him enough consistently. <laughs> Five Ring Shattering is uh, pretty good damage, though. Only Flurry of Sticks is dealing more, so that's not bad. Hammer Spin is a big damage increase for her, too, and SP, so actually maybe just leaving both of those on might be the way to go. And grind the other ones up later. Oh, oh, the floor oh, yeah, is there slidey. Is here. The floor is slidey. Okay, There's cool. a slidey floor. A hey, a thunderbolt. thunderbolt. Is that a path down there below me? I'm actually not sure, maybe. Let's find out. Oh, it yeah. It is. No? Okay. Let's just see these new enemies, new battlefield, new additions. Whoa. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, low poly mammoth. <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> Love him. Love this guy. I can't look directly at him. Oh my god, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I can't I can't I just, stop laughing at <laughs> it. I really threw you. I wasn't expecting all of this. You weren't With expecting his, the his weird bald head and two sets of horns and tusk and that that trunk, oh my god. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, she fell down. <laughs> Aw. Well done. First try. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. We did a lot of damage. Ooh. And she wasn't at full HP anyway. Uh oh. Yeah, because when you put that ring on her, it uh, increased her maximum, but didn't, like, heal her current up to full. Love it. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's not stinky breath. Oh, no. Hey, Glad I was fine. defending. It's fine, yeah. She was guarding, so. 
And he really doesn't like Meru. Should've put the therapy ring on her. I love how they disintegrate into pieces. Yeah, like the different bits of the model all kind of dissolve into red mist separately. <laughs> At least you can't, like, slide off the edge of the map into the abyss. Thank goodness. That would be awful. Hey. Oh, hey. Is that a new weapon for dark? Actually, didn't we find one of those before? I feel like he we had a heat blade at some point and maybe even sold it. Yeah. Oh. Huh. It's giving you that because there's, like, an ice elemental boss or something. Probably. It's like, here, this will be an acid. Because uh, oh, they think making your attack kay. fire elemental uh, makes up for the drastically reduced attack power, and it does not. I, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think it does, though. It really doesn't. That's why you sold the other one, because we talked about that. And, like, the yeah, wind elemental spear and the dark ago. elemental sword, it's just the extra damage against enemies oh. of the opposite alignment is doesn't make up for the, uh, the drastically reduced attack when you just find a much better weapon. Look at these friends. I love these guys. That is a Digimon. That does look Actually, like a Digimon. Actually, both of these kind of look like Digimon. <laughs> does he have a swordfish in his hand? Oh, that's cute. He's using a swordfish as a lance. Very funny. Oh, did you hear the little... <laughs> Make like a squeaky wheel sound like someone pushing an office chair quickly down a hallway. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Something fishy about this penguin. Poor Meru. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely the mascot of the team. She's dealing 70 damage. Oh. Aw, I didn't finish it. Ooh. Of course, that's just like most turtles in our JRPGs. High HP, high physical defense. Yeah. So it's not really her fault. She's only dealing 70 damage. I like the part where she just holds the hammer vertical and then like lets the momentum, like just lets it fall potential energy. Well, this is good for grinding your additions up. Level up these brand new ones. Yeah, I guess so. Turtle's tough. Thankfully, it's also slow. It's not getting a lot of turns back against you, so all the damage is going one direction. Hey, she got it. Nice. Good job, Meru. It didn't apply the damage until after she got up from falling down because that is absolutely part of the addition attack. <laughs> oh, a spear frost. That'll be completely useless in this glacier. <laughs> I did get two gushing magma though, so yeah. like very handy. That that will absolutely help. Ooh, more treasure. And How actually having Meru in this party uh, will probably be an asset because since she's... Oh, you, it, oh no! Mm. Missed it. Walked right past it. I was going down to the other one. <laughs> yeah, you got tunnel vision real bad. I saw. But uh, where she's got really high magic defense um, and also is water elemental, she's like going to be... She's going to shrug off any ice attacks that these enemies use in this zone. Oh, good. Won't have to worry about her too much. Oh, yes. Really, Dart? Dart. Dart. Come on, man. Dart, why you do us like this? Her attacks are just so cute. I love it. They are, and I kind of, my, my headcanon is that she's awkward like that because she is a very, she's like a fast, high dex character because she's a Wingly. But Winglies are mages. They don't use physical weapons. 
so she's like not good at it, and there was no one to train her before she left home. She also doesn't use her wings in battle. It's only when she's a dragoon that she becomes that graceful and stuff. Yeah, like pirouetting on top of the hammerhead right. and, and stuff like that. That makes sense because like then she's in her element because she's flying, right? Yeah. So when she's in dragoon form, yeah, she is like a lot more graceful and elegant. But in this form, even though she's supposed to be a dancer and everything, because she's on the ground, she's like just flopping around awkwardly like a fish on land. Oh man, that axe kick though. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love a good axe kick. I love getting my axe kicked. <laughs> And one or two more of these turtles and uh, Hammer Spin and Five Ring Shattering are both going to be level two. Good. I mean, yeah, sure. If this turtle doesn't kill me by eating my ankles. Aw, oh, really? Once a juicy bite of darts thick thighs. <laughs> yeah, but who doesn't? Fair. Turtle said it's thick 30. <laughs> That? Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Aww. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. I... I would say get rid of that Spear Frost. The Be Spear Frost? Really? Yeah, well, because it's a water-based attack. What are you going to use it for in this glacier? What are you going I to aim at? I guess that, that at? makes sense. Unless you wanted to throw it away on one of those turtles because they're earth elemental. But I mean... That's alright, I'll do... Watch, it'll be another one. Oh. No, a meteor fall, we'll take okay. that. What's this sign say? Right to the Tower of Flanvel, up to the snow field. Warning, slide. Hmm. Okay. Is this going to be one of those, I slide down the mountain and try to get items or something? There's different paths to take? I'll have to find out. Man, you two just love showing up together, don't you? Ow! They're best friends. Really? Huh. Oof. Have Meru use one of... One of what? <laughs> Damn! Got that lead thumb. <laughs> you gotta be faster. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh -huh. have Meru use one of your spell items because you have a bunch of them. You got some freebies. Like use that meteor fall or that gravity grabber or something to get rid of the turtle, you know? It's a little less useful now since they're all multi hit items. Psh, it's fine. Yeah, it's kind of wasted now against one target. Well, okay then. I'll just attack and get some more additions. Good. 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 Do I'm it. glad we agree. <laughs> Punch it. Punch the turtle. Should probably have her guard a little bit. Her HP's low again. I think Madness Hero might have leveled up because you're getting 90 SP from it now. Oh, yay, it missed. Yes. He's, been, he's only whiffed once and you've hit with it every time, so mm -hmm. you probably are close. I was wondering if those cannons were actually useful for something. Ay! Yup, they're used for that. Ow! I was waiting to see if she got it with that attack because yeah, it doesn't go off until she gets up. 
There we go. I keep waiting. I'm really surprised that Meru hasn't at least hit Dragoon level 2 yet. Oh, that's oh. a Meru weapon, but I think that's what she's got on. Oh, is it? I think so, because you either found one in a chest already or bought one at a shop. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's, is it an upgrade? Oh, it's Ooh. an upgrade. With a stun, even. We'll take that. Okay. All right. I think what it was is um, you had a mace earlier. All right. That's what so I was thinking of. Here's the question. Do I go on to the fields or do I go on to the tower? Well, that's up to you. Uh, you know that the story is at the tower. Right, so I should go to the fields. <laughs> right? Uh, so the snow fields, I think, are like a different zone. Um, like, they have different enemies and, and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if you'll actually be allowed to go there yet. You can check. Let's find out. There may be an NPC blocking you off to, like, you know, you can't go this way yet. Ah. Uh, uh, that's why it's Miranda won't let you go. Yep. Yeah, she's saying we gotta go down here to go to the tower. Okay. Alright, that's, you know, okay, that makes sense. Story-wise. Yes, yeah, like, that's, that is what you're here for. <laughs> here we go, now. Yes, now. Now is the time. Uh, let's see. Earth, thunder... Let's use one of these you've got gushing two, magmas. You've got two earth attacks, but you know there's going to be a water elemental boss, right? Yeah. Maybe I should use one of my thunder attacks then. Let's use a thunderbolt. I think you have to mash this one. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Oh. Good one. Hey! That's nice. That's a big hit. Uh, now you can see how much health they have, because I just put both of them in the yellow. I'm really bad at that one, apparently. Now you're getting more than half the time. It's just new. We, we know this to be true, like, you know. Yeah, every time I switch to a new edition, it takes me a second. Yeah, it takes you a while. Oh, you're doing way better than me overall, I would say, at, um like remembering the other ones when you switch back and forth. Yeah. There are some that I'm just not good at. Like a lot of Meru's really, I get fumble fingered. She's only got five and hammer spins about the only one I can do that one and double smack. Oh no. Oh no. Don't set Meru on fire. She hates that. Uh Oh, well, she did say she was cold. Yeah. Her fire weakness was offset by her uh, high magic defense. It's probably fine. There we go. But yeah, so you're switching characters a lot more than than I do when I played in the past for the stream, um, and so uh, you're going back and forth between a lot of different editions and different characters. So I mean, overall, your um, success rate is like. Pretty, pretty good. It's pretty up there. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Think of it like a batting average, you know. Mm. And I don't, I don't do sports, so I don't know what a good batting average is. But like, <laughs> whatever a good batting average would be, it's that, probably. 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 Oh hey, How traveling about? merchants. Hi guys. Just scare them right off into yeah, the into the castle. <laughs> Peddler Brothers Segundo. Customers! Oh, there's really customers here. I can't... <laughs> I cannot believe it, Brother Segundo. Oh, sorry. I forgot about you momentarily. I sell weapons. And I sell items. We are peddlers. <laughs> yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> it Oh no, I gave him the giggles. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> oh, it must be fate meeting you here. Yeah, it's such a chance. Why don't you buy something? Come 
on, think of this as a charity. But you just said you but were a business. You're yeah. a small business. Are you a charity or are you a business? What is it? Buy weapons. Random merchants off in this dungeon. They must have good stuff, right? Surely. Mine crush, you got that. Ooh, a battle axe, Ooh. nice. All right. Hey. Okay. Poisons enemies, stuns enemies. Got three upgrades there. Ooh, Saint Armor. Mm -hmm. Physically attacked SP is accumulated. Nice. That's an upgrade for, I think, both of them. Yeah, for both of our boys. Nice. All right. A rube. When Tech attacked magically, SP is accumulated. So that's slightly higher defense. defense, but reduced magical defense for mm. all of them. Hmm. That's a hard choice, but on the other hand, all of the girl characters actually have higher magic defense than all of the guy characters to begin with. So, yeah, it really is their physical defense that lacks. Yeah, so I don't know. Is that a is that a trade up? Miranda has the lowest defense out of all three of them. Yeah, for sure. But I really want her ma her magic to be up too. But mm. yeah, but like I said, you know, her magic def uh, defense is already pretty high, so. It it's is. a difference of, of six points of physical defense, but ten points of magic defense. You also get the SP if you're attacked magically. Mm -hmm. I yep. do want her to have SP, too. But think about that. It's predicated off being hit by spells while reducing your magic defense. Ah, mm, So you it's know encouraging what? you to get hit by the thing you are now weaker against. So, like, eh. That's fair. What else we got? Ooh, a guard badge. Oh, well, there you go. Physical and magical defense power. Oh, well, 20 points. That would too. offset the robe. Ooh, it's a thousand gold, but it's really good. Everything in this game is really good. It's a thousand gold or 10,000 gold yeah, or something like that. Yeah. If they want me to buy them, they should give me some money. Mm. That is good, though. Yeah. That what is you... good because 20 points of magic defense for like Kongol or Albert is also nothing to sniff at. Uh, but 20 points of physical defense for Meru or Miranda is very good so i might buy one or two of them i've got the money to do so i'd buy at least one probably yeah just because it's a very good item now Should is I... anybody gonna wear it uh... uh i mean so you've got meru hashel doesn't really need it what's he wearing the the therapy ring yeah that's right he's got the therapy ring I feel like Meru would be the one to wear it, but she'd lose 400 hit points if you put it on her. Yeah, but if her defense is high enough, then it won't matter that much. I mean, that's true. Yeah, because she'd be taking less damage overall. May even out. You want to give it a try? Yeah, let's do that. Cool. The other guy sells items. Oh, Primero and Tercero are somewhere around. Drop in on them, will you? more peddlers? Yeah, there's four brothers, see? Segundo and Quarto. Oh, okay. So Primero and Tercero are one and three. I I did not even realize those were numbers. What you got? Dog, healing breeze. Oh, he's got charm potions. <laughs> God. Other than the Sun Rhapsody, I think I'm okay with all of this. Yeah, you have one Sun Rhapsody and one Moon Serenade. Yeah. Huh. What do you think? You've mostly been getting through boss battles without using a lot of spells, so... I guess it'll be okay. I'm gonna leave it for now. Say hello to my other brothers at the other place. At the other place. At the other place. What's in here? Another gushing magma. This oh, dungeon's hey. telling you something. Yeah, it sure is, isn't it? Couldn't even get to the other screen. Spent too much time shopping, that's what it was. Game said it's time for action. Hmm. Two, two more of these turtles, huh? Well, you've got more spells. Really? Why can't I get that one? 
Oh, you were doing fine. I don't know what's something's broken your rhythm. You gotta turn gamer back on. I can do Madness Hero just fine. <laughs> That's what it is. A uh, five ring shattering isn't difficult enough. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. That's he what it sells, is. He uh, sells healing breezes. You could use one of those with her. Because oh hey, and then just buy another one and replace it. Since you're here, that is a brilliant idea. Yeah, crow. Uh, baseball is just cricket but sideways. I. I hmm hmm I don't know enough about baseball or cricket, but that sounds yeah, they inaccurate. Both kinda, they both kind of suck. Okay, I think I confused him. Yes. Okay. Uh, should I use another one of those? He's a. Uh... He's a meteor faller or gravity grabber. They're earth elemental and so are the turtles, but they're also weak to magic, so. I was thinking maybe the flash hull, because it's the gravity grabber, you don't have to pound the button for that one. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah, basically, except I think you're just allowed to punch each other in rugby. It's like football, but you play it with hockey rules. I love that spell. Oh, do they have different rules for it in Australia? See, you got it. There you go. He's back, folks. <laughs> I turned Gamer back on. <laughs> Oh, good. They're both confused now. Nice. There it is. Hey. I love the delay. <laughs> <laughs> Bit its own head off. Wow. How did it do that? Impressive. Oh, you got some frogs in chat. Ooh. Ooh, Rainbow Breath. Finally, she leveled up. All right. So Rainbow Breath um, that is sounds Maru's. awesome. So Maru is a favorite character for a lot of people just because she's fun and has a good design. Oh, right. I almost forgot my healing item. Oops. Um, and, and that's true. She is a fun character. Um, but for a lot of people, Rainbow Breath is actually like her biggest redeeming factor. Mm -hmm. That's what makes her actually a good character. So what's so good about Rainbow Breath? Uh, Rainbow Breath is a healing spell. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. She is the only other character besides Miranda who just gets a straight-up healing spell. You can check it out in the menu. Because, of course, there's Astral Drain, but, like, it's not quite the same thing. Yeah, because Astral Drain is based off of the damage you do to the enemy. Exactly. Rainbow Breath just heals you, and it's based on Meru's magic attack or oh. whatever. It's been a second since I've had to look at my spells. Is that under status? Status, yeah. I cannot go down there to look at oh, it. Oh, yeah, you can't just hover over it. Okay. Oh, well. That's fine. You'll get your chance. Uh, I'm guessing down here? Yes. Yep. Hmm. You get to climb all these icicles. Ah. Hey. Nice. You I chose correctly. correctly. What'd I get? Dancing ring. Oh, sweet. I love that spell. Somehow climbing up this <laughs> frozen icicle. Oh, wait. I went up too high. <laughs> Darn it. That lead thumb, I'm telling you. Let's play a racing game. Show you lead thumb. I don't know. You get mad when I beat you, though. Oh, and you don't? <laughs> I didn't say that. Phoenix plume. A phoenix plume? Is that like an angel's prayer? Uh... I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember. I think that it is an accessory. Oh, is it an accessory? Yes, I'm pretty sure. But I don't remember what it does. 
avoids bewitching, confusion, fear, and dispiriting, so it makes you immune to mental status effects. Okay. Interesting. Now he's wearing the night helm. Yeah, I don't it's a hat. I don't think I've changed his hat in forever. Yeah, it's been a while, so it is it's a helmet. Soul headband. Slightly reduces his defense, but brings up his magic attack and magic defense. That's not bad. Can Meru wear it? Yes. Regular defense comes down, but her magic attack and magic defense come up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I might put that on her. I mean, sure. Because that's, uh, you know, that's one of those things where you think about it. Bewitching, confusion, fear. These are things you do not want on your healer. Right. No. So it does slightly bring down her defense, but you did just get her the guard badge as well, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. There we go. Well, neat. She's got a cool new hat. What's with all this purple junk in the ice? Good question. Did I just hear a roar? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Every time you tell me not to worry about it, I worry about it like 10% more. Mm, I wouldn't worry about it then. Hmm, that's a good 20% more. Why are you worried? <laughs> Hmm. Well, it's a good thing that you got that spell just now. Oh? Is it? Well, if you're going to use the continue to use the two of them in your party, sure. It's always nice to have a healing spell in your back pocket. I... Oh, this will be handy because this way you can, like, guard Meru. Because she has low HP. Yeah. I think I do notice her taking a little bit less damage, though. Yeah, a little bit less. Darn it! I think I'm doing that one too fast. No comment. Listen. I am a speedy boy. <laughs> Gotta go fast. You're getting it done. That's all that matters. There you go. Nice. Aw, oh, no, don't run away! Aw. Oh, well. Boo. Oh, who's wearing the dragon helm? The dragon helm? Mm-hmm. That you picked up, remember? I don't know. Who's got that on? She oh, has it on. Oh, her? Why? Should I take it off of her? No, I was just remembering like it was a really good item and she's not in your party, so I thought you might want to give it to somebody who is in your party so they can make use of it. Because see, that's the one, yeah, raises maximum HP 50%. Oh, you should put that on Dart. Because he's fire elemental. He's going to be weak to water-based attacks. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Do you have the blue stone, the, the sapphire stone? I think so, around here somewhere. Let's see. I know you have the red stone. Just the ruby ring, sapphire pin, darkness stone, silver stone, red eye stone. Just don't have the blue one yet. Darn. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. We'll, we'll just do the best we can. You may want to save it again since you changed your equipment and stuff. Sure, why not? I have noticed that I only slide if I run. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I walk, it's fine. If you have more momentum, that makes sense, I guess. I swear it looks like there's a, just enough space there for another Dragoon Spirit. You gotta leave breathing room, you know. I guess. Oh no, I have to fight just the wind? Under the bridge is a... Uh... Yeah. There As you go. if I wasn't going to go under the bridge. 
Oh god. Mm. That's okay. You can come back and get it. You don't want what's in there right now. Oh, do I not? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. If I'm, I'm pretty sure that's an ice-based attack item. Oh, well, I'll trust you on that. Or water-based attack item, rather. Uh, I keep saying ice because of where we are, but of course, water is the element. Right. Hey, there's Congo. Oh, is he going to say something this time? What? Congo feels monster angry about we entered here. Hmm. I cannot imagine what they are thinking to live in such a cold place. Monsters don't know coldness. Monster only knows to kill. It wants kill us. Hmm. Thank you, but no thank you. Here it comes. What is it? What is it? What is it? Big ice golem? Uh, big polar bear. Uh, I hate when they don't show you the boss like there's just a cuts to battle. Ice dragon? Killer penguin. Oh! <laughs> weren't expecting that. That, um, that is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Oh, a Windigo. Mmm. Misspelled like Windigo. Oh, it's a it's a unique monster. It's not a Wendigo. It's a Windigo. It's a Windigo. It's very windy today. Uh, you may want to cycle through. Remember the Divine Dragon had multiple body parts you didn't know about. I can't focus on anything Doesn't else. Have anything? Okay. Nope, it's just this thing. Oh, okay. 151. That wasn't bad. Yes. Go. Ha, 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 ha. Hero. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. Kicking its butt. Yes. Go. Ha, 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 ha. Hero! Oh, he actually got the whole thing off that time. Ow. Ow! Bruh. Uh, you've got a bunch of spell items and stuff. You picked up, like, three of those gushing magmas. I know, I'm trying to get her Dragoon bar up. Oh. Because she leveled up. I need to get her full. Fair. No, not Meru! Meru's like, bruh. That still hit her pretty hard, but... Ah! Man, this guy just loves to throw me on the ground, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a good thing you put that uh, dragon helm on there, huh? Yeah. Dang. Yes. Go. Ha, 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 ha. Hero. Ooh, one more attack. Yeah. Then you can go uh, special with dart. That was the plan. I should probably Ooh, they heal. Want to heal, yeah. I didn't realize that Meru only had a little health. That's alright, she just bought healing breezes. Yeah. Do I wanted to use that? That seems like a waste. Maybe get Dark back up to full though. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because keep in mind he had 2700 hit points and now he's got 1200. Yeah. And you've not been in this fight for very long. Alright, dark next? No. This guy's vicious. He loves it. Ah! <laughs> nice, he nice. missed! Alright, let's hit him with something. How about... Ah! Oh, he doesn't have a elemental type. 
Well, no, that's showing all enemies is non-elemental because it hits oh. everybody. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's hard to see there. They should have outlined that text in black. You did pretty good, though. 401? Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Aha! Here we go. This is a battle where Dart really gets the spotlight because you don't fight a lot of water elemental bosses. Like, there's Linus and her dragon that you fight twice, and, and then this one are the only meaningful ones. That's kind of it, so. All right. Oh, yeah! You can't do that. That takes 80 MP, though. So you can do three final bursts or one red eyed dragon. It's probably more efficient to use three final bursts. Overall, probably, because even though, like, the red eyed dragon is so much more powerful. I can only use it once. You can only use it once. Yes, that's probably going to add up to more damage. Would be my guess. I don't know that. I mean, it sounds right. It says 175% strength, so it's like, you know, 75 and 75 and 75 is 225, so. 50 percentage points stronger overall there he goes see big numbers Ooh. big numbers okay Hachelle Let's use Thunder Kid against this guy. I love the way this spell looks. It's so cool. Yeah. another one like Grand Stream where for some reason he doesn't say the name of the spell. I don't know if there's a reason for that if they just didn't record it. So here you can see Rainbow Breath. HP, Recovery, and Cure all. Yep, so it heals everybody and recovers status. Okay. And uh, what's more is see it falls right in the middle, right? So Moonlight only costs 10 MP but it's also single target. Right. Uh, Gates of Heaven targets everybody but it costs 30. Rainbow Breath falls right in the middle and costs 20, so that means that starting right out the gate, as soon as you get it, you have at least two. Nice. It's a, it's a full party heal, so. It's not as powerful as Gates of Heaven because it cannot bring back the dead. Right. Uh, but otherwise, it's very good. It's good for keeping you from, like, stopping you becoming dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to use that or the ice spell that I have against nah, this thing. Maybe just attack it. Yeah. Now we can save her MP for a uh, Rainbow Breath. Hey, okay. all right. Ah! Oh, no. What? Uh-oh. Everybody watch out. It might hit us. Yeah. Um... Okay, so uh, this is the Wendigo's gimmick, right? It summons these ice elemental adds. Okay. If you attack the Wendigo while it has someone trapped in its ribcage, you will hurt that character also. Ah. Yeah. But that's okay. You can use your perfect attack on the uh, uh, on the ice cannons. Yeah. With free perfect. Probably take it out. That's rude. It is very rude. Bam. <laughs> Not very effective though. Lol. Ha! Big lol. Very funny. Ah, boo. Not quite enough to get it, though. Yeah. 
it's a shame that it ate Heshel like this because I was thinking with when Meru comes out of Dragoon form, that would be the perfect time for her to do something like, you know, she could use a Sun Rhapsody on Dark so that he could do a Red-Eyed Dragon. Right. While he's still in Dragoon form, because he's going to be in there for two or three more turns. But... Come on, spit him out. There you go. Well, thank you very much. Okay, now. At this point, notice that the Wendigo's posture has changed a little bit. Ah, I yep. see. Now so I can attack, attack the heart. heart. Okay. Yeah, because its ribcage is a little more open, mm -hmm. isn't it? All right. Okay. Do I want to hit uh, it with another Thunder Kid? I would just hit it. Just hit it? I would just hit it, and you'll see why. Hey! Nice. All right! Hey! Hadouken! There you go. He has my favorite Dragoon Edition, except for maybe Rose. That did one damage! Yes, it did. Why did that do one damage? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this one of those bosses where it only takes one damage, so I have to hit it a, like a number of times? Or something? Probably. No, not a nice spell. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. He's still got two turns in Dragoon, which means that uh, that is uh, two more final bursts. That's pretty good. I could do, like you said before, and use the Sun Rhapsody on him, though. I think it's a little early, though, right now, because you still have 70 points. Think so? All right. What if I just use one another uh, Gushing Magma, That's then? what I'd do with her, yeah. Because, see, now you can't uh, hit the heart anymore. You can only get one hit on the heart, and it, any attack will always only deal one damage to it. So the heart is only ever exposed after it um, grabs somebody and tries to pull them in its chest like that. Okay. Then when it spits them back out, it exposes the heart. The heart only takes one point of damage, period, from any attack. Okay, okay. But it also only has three hit points. Ah, I see. That's the game. So yeah, so the Wendigo's thing is like it has a, a metric butt ton of HP. It has more health than most of the bosses that you have fought up to this point in the game. Uh huh. And the idea is that um, it will grab people, spit them out, and you'll hit the heart. And if you do that three times, it dies. Ah, okay. However, um, with the damage that you deal from Dart, like using Final Burst and Red Eyed Dragon, it's probably not going to live long enough for it to matter. I mean, it's in the it's in the yellow already. Right. So. See, the heart has three hit points, but the the Wendigo has like I think maybe ten thousand. Which, out weirdly, that's twice as much as the Divine Dragon. Really? Yeah. Well, not counting its different parts. Like, the Divine Dragon has about 9,000 total, I think. Um, but it's divided in three parts. The Wendigo just has 10,000 HP flat. Hmm. So, it does go down hard. He's a, he's a hefty boy. But, uh... I don't think that I have ever had to use the heart to kill him before I killed it, like, just through sheer damage, um, except when I did it on purpose. Like, deliberately guarding... To see guarding, if you got something different? Right, like, deliberately guarding and waiting to see if, if dealing damage to the heart did anything, and it does. Um, but I did have to deliberately guard and wait. Huh. Because, look, three final bursts adds up to almost 6,000 damage, and it's only got 10,000 HP. So with Meru throwing out those uh, gushing magmas and a couple spells from Hashel, I mean, how much damage have you done, right? Like, it's already almost dead. I've done a bunch. It's yeah. got to be in the red by now. Yeah, it's probably almost, almost certainly in the red. I wish there was an item that gave everybody just full SP. Uh, there is, I think. Oh, Moon for Serenade. the whole party? Yes, I think it's the Moon Serenade. Or, oh, full SP. Yeah, Sorry. not MP. SP. I think that there is an upgraded version of the Spirit Potion, but I don't know that it gives full SP to everybody. But I think there is one that gives everybody 100 SP, maybe. That's still not bad. 
That's a cool spell animation for him. Yeah. yeah I'll dig it. This might actually hurt a little bit, because I'm not in Dragoon form anymore. Yeah, I will now that Dart's not in Dragoon form anymore. <sighs> Ow. Let's, let's heal for safety. If you're going to heal, I would do it with Hashel. Why? Because healing is flat. So, like, if you use a spell item with Meru, it's going to deal more damage than if Hashel throws it. But if Hashel heals, then it will heal the same amount no matter what. See? Because it's percentile based. No, that actually does make sense. That's uh, powerful side seat gaming, I know, but, like... Hmm. Let's hit him with... You don't have anything fire left, so it doesn't matter at this point, really. Yeah. Meteor fall, maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? Dancing ring. Mash the button. Oh my god, please put a black outline around those letters. Those numbers. Nice. Pretty good. My button mashing finger getting a workout today. I think Madness Hero leveled up again because it's now giving you 120 uh, SP. Oh, yeah? yeah? Awesome. Or I may have been wrong about it leveling up before, because remember I said I thought it leveled up because it was giving me 90. 90 might be the base, and the 120 is its first level up. Oh, here he goes with the hand again. I n notice how it's, like, missing a hand, and yeah. it reforms like a ghost a hand. A spirit hand. Yeah. Honestly, hand. honestly, when it does that, it looks like it's grabbing the hand with his other, like, physical hand. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. There we go. Now I feel a little bit better about that. gotta be close. Yeah, come on, go down. Yeah, I agree with you. I like this attack a lot. I'm just a sucker for, like, rainbowy light-based attacks. I mean, sure. We all are. By the power of Gay and Lisa Frank, I abjure ye. I'm glad I healed. And the last one. This might kill it. Make plenty of space in your inventory, that's for sure. You don't have to mash the button for this one. I know. <laughs> you were just, he's just smashing that button. Hey! There you go. All right. Did it. Whew. All right. Nice. Cool. Very good. Ooh, we got a brass, a brass knuckle. A single brass knuckle. You also got eleven thousand experience. Holy crap! Yes, we did. Oh, Kongle didn't level up. Weird. Cool, though. Yeah. We barely defeated it. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. It's fine. Dart. It wasn't Jongo. Come on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Celebratory frogs! Yes! Thanks to that, I got warmed up. <laughs> Hurry up. We're moving on. The Tower of Flanville is back there. Sure. Now you can go down and get that other item. I do want to take a look. Is that uh, Brass yeah. Knuckle? I wonder if it's better than the Diamond Claw. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's right. It has an instant kill effect. Yep. And it's better than the Diamond Claw for that's some reason. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why? Is Brass Knuckle? That's beginner level equipment. A one Brass Knuckle. So it doesn't even go all the way across your hand. It's just like, just the index finger. <laughs> one Knuckle. It's the one, like, the one-finger kill shot from so many 
Oh uh, lord. You know, so many uh, martial yeah, arts. That's what it is. It like goes over. It goes over your ring, your uh, middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> it's a precision oh, attack. Check your additions too. Oh uh, yeah. Because a lot of people leveled up. Somebody may have gotten a new one. Madness Heroes is coming along almost just fine. Almost level four, so it did level up twice. Five Ring Shattering is almost level two. Wow, well, I, I actually thought it would be a little closer. Hammer Spin's almost level two. Wow, they're neck and neck. Nice. Cool. Did anybody else? Oh, for the additions? Uh, I forgot to check because they weren't in the party. I just wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, nope. Gust of Wind Dance. And he didn't level up, unfortunately. So. Yeah, okay. so. That's it, then. All right, now you said I wouldn't care about this item? Yeah. Is it a body purifier? No. Oh. Well, eh, it's a, it's a, yeah, yeah, like I said, okay. it's an ice attack. So yeah. the, that would have done nothing for you. Nothing constructive in that battle. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this oh god, again. this guy again. It's been a while since we've seen him. I'd rather fight the boss. No, it's fine. Like, you started with a mammoth, you should end on a mammoth, don't you think? I guess, but I know I'm not going to get out of here without fighting another battle. <laughs> so am I really ending with a mammoth? Uh, you know, fair. She did stun it, though. Hey. We'll take that. Oh, well, that didn't last long. All right, I guess. Come on, Hachelle. I was kind of hoping he'd just kill it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, uh -oh. hazardous breath. Oh, he's poisoned. Ugh. Boo, boo his, boo that mammoth. Why is the mammoth the status affecting enemy? I don't know. That's it is weird. This at game least, makes strange choices. At least you can just turn into a dragoon and get rid of it, but it's like ah, boo. Like mammoth, really? Remember, he'll still be poisoned after the battle. Yeah, I know. Just go dragoon when you get in the next one. At least the poison damage and the therapy ring are kind of balancing everything out. Yeah, they sort of cancel each other. Uh, this way? That looks like a place I need to go, so let's go over here first. I don't... Aha! Yeah, there is one box. It's about to say, I don't oh, know if there's anything rain, else, okay. but... That sounds like a pretty good darkness attack. Man, the battle music is slamming in this game. I love it. <laughs> oh, hello. Well. Polygon attack. I love how he's just like, ha, 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 ha. Dragoon. <laughs> Is it wrong that I kind of want him to like Power Ranger pose? But he kind of does. Well, I mean, he does at the end, but I was like before the transformation. Oh, yeah. What if it's just like a hard cut montage of just choo, choo, like it's morphin' time? <laughs> yeah. I kind of want that for all of them. <laughs> I hate that both of these are single target, though. Yeah, we'll just attack them. Yeah, I'll just have to punch somebody. Ooh, nice. Oh man, those camera angles were good on that one that time. I really like his like basic dragoon attack. Yes. It's very good. Like I said, his is my favorite dragoon edition, um, except for maybe roses. Oh hey, nice. What? They're immune to stun. Boo! Freeze night. Yes. Go. <laughs> I love that attack though, where there's like shing. Oh, 
Ah, boo. That's my favorite The backflipping double kick? Yeah, where he just, like, spins around and... <laughs> it's very good. It's very good, and then finishes up with, like, a Hadouken. the inevitable frost breath. Oh, it was a spell. Okay. I was just expecting ice damage, but not quite like that. <laughs> yeah, it's strange how, like, there really aren't a whole lot of just magical enemy attacks in this game. Usually they'll do, like, a, an attack animation and then it becomes one of the standard spell items, like, that you can throw out. Yeah. And kind sometimes of weird. they have stuff like the hazardous breath, but usually... It's hey, better. there's Kongle's oh, there level. There we go, he was right on the edge. <laughs> we got him. We got him there. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This is starting to look gross. Starting to look like that sort of weird organic synthetic mix that Wingly's use. Look. Yeah, see, because look how it looks oh, like... Oh, cool. Not just grown, but like extruded. This is the Tower of Flanvel. It's the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. Uh, it's a swirl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Meru. Again, this doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the Wingley's floating fort during the dragon campaign I heard. This can fly? Wingley's in the past used to have an enormous amount of magic power. And it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power is concealed in the divine moon objects. For the people of Serdio, for King Zior, and for Princess Emily. This is a life or death matter for all of Endiness. That's even more of a reason. We must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here. All right. Yeah, stop the ambitions of Troy of Lloyd. Uh, treasure. Ooh, a rave twister. What is that? Uh, that is a wind attack, but I don't remember if it's a button mashing one or a flat damage one. Oh, okay. It's a spell then. Alright. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that was a weapon. More treasure! More treasure! Ooh, yeah, a spirit, spirit ring. ring. Cool. I'll take that. Uh, hmm. Can't go up there. Lord, when am I going to fight in here? Robots? Magical constructs of some kind would make sense, but... Whoa! Hello! Yeah, instead have this fucking clown spider. <laughs> oh no! Not a spider clown! <laughs> An icicle ball? I like spider clown better. That's the kind of enemy that I feel like if I punched it, it would honk. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like I can go over to that door, so that's probably a shortcut back out of here. So let's teleport on up over here, I guess. Yeah, I believe that you've got that right. Okay, so... Oh, whoa, yeah, okay. this is like a teleportation maze. Oh, that's that's weird. Yeah, see, up inside. Uh, I actually, I like the way that the Wingly um, buildings are built like this, because, of course, they can fly, right? So, what's it matter? Okay, I thought that would happen. So... You can kind of see where they go. Yeah, so does that one go... Back up that way. That one should wrap around it. Okay. 
Good job, actually. All right, cool. Okay, uh, hmm. Well, do I go back down and go through the rest of the tunnels? There or? isn't anything. Oh, there isn't? No, this is where you're supposed to be. So. Oh, well. Well, thank uh, you. Now, before you go on, though, eh? here's what I would caution you to do. Yeah? Um, is there I would... another boss fight? Uh, Yes, you're getting ready to come into a pretty tough fight. Okay. Um, now... There are there are several things you can do to prepare this fight for this fight. Uh huh. Um. Because of the way that the divine dragoon uh, or divine dragon um, battle panned out, I'm hesitant to suggest taking Kongol, uh, partially because he's not been like leveled up a lot and stuff. But normally, I would say Albert and Kongol because they have a lot of hit points. Because this okay. next enemy is going to hit really hard. So uh -huh. someone like Meru, even with high magic defense, is like, she's very squishy. That's that's fair. Okay. Well, um, what, if, so, what if I just kept Hachelle and took Albert? Uh, you could probably do that because Hachelle is like not super squishy. Um, on the other hand, Meru now has a healing spell. Also true. So, like, you know, it's kind of up to you. I think you could take whoever you want, really. You just need to decide what your strategy is gonna be. Let's let's just stick with the party I've got right now. All right. Well, in that case, uh, what I would recommend is I would uh, I would dig in your inventory and let's see what uh, what does Dart have the Bandit Ring right? Um. Yes. That's perfect. I would give him a talisman. A talisman? A talisman, which I think you've got two now. Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of those, is it? Yep. Now, you do have a second one, so you can put the other one Somewhere on, um, like, Meru or Hachel. I'm pretty sure you picked up a second one. Did you not? I did not. Oh. Okay. Well, if you've only got one, then it should go on Dart anyway. All right. So should I keep the therapy ring on his shell and uh, the guard badge on her? That's probably not too bad, because that will help to protect them. That way, Hashel is constantly gaining um, more HP without guarding, and that's more efficient for him than for Meru, and she needs the defense. The only other thing I would consider is like you might choose to put the physical ring on her to give her 400, um, you know, almost 450 more hit points. But I don't know if that's better than the guard badge. We have tried that out. You know, it seems to be working okay. So that is up to you. I I think I'm just going to stick with the increased defense for this one. Yeah. yeah. I think both ways is a viable strategy. So now check your additions too. Um, let's see. Oh, Madness Hero only needs 10 more. To get to level, level four. four. Nice. He's probably sitting about where he needs to be. Um, he needs two more for level two. Hmm. And Meru need. Oh, is she level did two. level up. Good. So she's dealing. That's the most damage she can deal. Honestly, I might go back out and fight another battle with Hachel and level up five ring shattering. It's two. <laughs> two things away. Yeah. It could make a difference. Probably not a bad idea. I think I can fight something in this room. Maybe. No, I don't think that there's any um, like trash encounters. Well, it doesn't seem the like tower. it actually. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this was the Not wrong quite. way. There you go. Second try. Ah, and there's another save point. Perfect. The moon mirror is in there. Uh oh. The Dragoon Spirit of the Divine Dragon is resonating. Void, 
finally we cornered him. Finally cornered Lloyd. <sighs> okay. Oh. All right, boss fight time. Big stretchy. Let's time do to it. take a sip. It's that opening menu music. Go. Oh. I appreciate your cooperation. You hypocrite. What are you? Lloyd! Here they are. I just got all three divine moon objects. Now, the world will be reborn into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, Your Majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the Great Will, Soa, and the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan. And we Winglies are the 107th. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Lloyd, is that all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? Huh, I just noticed. Yeah, he's crazy and stupid. Yeah, that. That's not what I just noticed. I've known that for a while. <laughs> no, I just noticed the the moon objects. Mm -hmm. Isn't there... They they seem to resemble, like, the divine uh, treasures in Japanese mythology, right? I've seen uh, them before. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a mirror, a... Uh, a, a mirror, a, a, blade, a blade, and a, and a jewel. jewel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh, that's neat. Okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. I'm going to give you the most important advice that I can give you. Is it don't die? Do not turn into a dragoon with anybody except Dart. He does have that Dragon Buster sword, so, like... Remember what happened to Levitz. <laughs> I will never forget what happened to Levitz. Yep. So, this is the culmination of all of that, um... So Lloyd's main gimmick is he's fast. You know he's got he's got a lot of magic because he's a wingly, but um, if you go dragoon, he will spend most of his turns trying to use the dragon buster on you. Okay. So that's an that's a one of those can't combat attacks. So it's an instant death, which means that it can't kill Dart. So if he stays Dragoon because he's going to be there for five turns every time that he transforms, uh -huh. Lloyd will waste most of his time trying unsuccessfully to kill Dart instead of attacking Hachelle and Meru. But if one of them turns Dragoon and he uses it on them, you're out an angel's prayer. Gotcha. Now on the other hand, see like Meru right now where she would only be in Dragoon form for one turn, mm -hmm. she could use a single attack and then change back and she'd be fine. But Hashel, he would be stuck for two turns, see? Right, right, gotcha. So you want to go Dragoon, but don't use the special. And because he's a Wingly... He has similar stats to people like Meru, right? He's got really high magic attack and defense. Uh -huh. So physical attacks are going to work better against him. I wouldn't waste too much MP uh, blasting him with dragon spells. I would just hit him. Yeah? Okay. Take advantage of that big boost from Dragoon form to your attack. Nice! There you go. Great way to start off. Yeah, good opening hit. this armor he's got on too. 
Come on, guys, let's trash this loser. Let's see. Oh no, he's firing missiles at me! <laughs> yeah, he's using the wingly technology of the tower. Hmm. I'll give him this, he has some cool looking attacks. Yeah, this, um, this kicks ass! But will it kick your ass? Oh, definitely. Hopefully not. This is gonna hurt. I actually really love this attack. The idea like he basically cast Ultima, but like he created a dome to, to like contain the explosion. Oh, that hurt a yeah. lot. Well, this would be perfect. Meru will get a turn. She can go Dragoon for one turn and cast Rainbow Breath and then immediately come back out. Right. That'll I save you a healing item. <laughs> hey, remember when you couldn't even hit him? It's just like too slow. Yeah, not anymore, huh, Lloyd? Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to be like Kongol, where his stats at the very beginning, the first time I fought him, were the same as they are now. Mm -hmm. Nice! Okay, good, awesome. All right. Oh, and again. Mm -hmm. I gave him the speed up, yep. so. It's all right. Kick his ass. Oh, you got this, so. Nothing but net, baby. There we go, this will be perfect. She'll heal everybody right before he goes and then not be in Dragoon form anymore by the time that he gets his turn. Because thankfully it's not as though, like, the Dragon Buster's not a counterattack. He doesn't get a free turn because you went Dragoon. That would be ridiculous. I, I do kind of wish I had Albert in here for the defense boost. But that's okay. Yeah, Rose Storm is really good to have in here. That's one of the reasons that you su like I suggested bringing him. Um, him and Kongol are just so beefy, but of course Kongol's magic defense is abysmal. So right, it's okay if he's in Dragoon form, <laughs> but that's a bad idea here. So if you only have one talisman, you don't want to bring Kongol. Nice. Wow, that speed down is really hurting him. Yes, it is. Especially because it lasts for three of his turns, not three of yours. Oh, oh you there it is. jerk! There it is. But look, you've already got him in the yellow. Nice. Four for four. Oh, his power up wore yeah, off. Yeah, the power up yeah. wore off, so. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, here we oh. go. I've been impaled. I love that attack. But there you <laughs> go. Yep. That's nothing. That was the Dragon Buster instant kill, and it did not instantly kill him. Awesome. All right, cool. We love it. Uh, you could use a... Hey, you could use that Spirit Potion on Dart. I guess. Give him a hundred more SP. Uh-oh. Wingly magic. Remember, just like Linus drew the, uh, the symbols. Oh, 
Oh no, mm. says Dart. Whatever. Eh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Whatever. I could be real mean and use the other spirit potion on Dart again. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll go ahead and just punch him. Yeah, because he was dealing pretty significant damage. Yeah, that's nice. not nothing. Yeah, no, 330. Ooh. Five for five. I have to open up all of my chakras to do that. I need you to understand. <laughs> Over here. You! Wow. Ooh, the fact that he doesn't do it until after you finish the attack. That's... Mm. I need a pillow to scream into. <laughs> you got this. Uh-oh. Hachelle's like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. Over here. <laughs> Who's too slow now? <laughs> Oop. Wingly V, Wingly. Oh, he's immune to stun, of well, course. Of but course. She's trying her best, though. Oh, here we go again. I love how he just, like, points, and Dart is like, <gasps> shock and surprise. I've got my eyes on you. in my sights. <laughs> Suffer. Ah! Oh, you left that one shocker closed. I'm losing steam. That's alright, because Lloyd is losing this fight, so... He has less HP than the Wendigo, so... You, uh, you really put the hurt to him in the, those first couple of turns. That was good, putting the speed down on him. Not gonna lie, it all came together, like, really, really well right there at the beginning. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> that was almost he's, perfect. He's got, I think, 6,000 HP, and you dealt, like, well over 3,000 damage to him in the first couple turns. So, he lost this fight pretty much right away. See what I mean about the Dragon Buster? Yeah, he just keeps doing that, huh? Yep. As long as someone is in Dragoon form, he will waste, like, probably two-thirds of his turns or more trying to use the Dragon Buster to punish you for that. It's almost kind of silly how... And they're all right in a row, too. The game spends most of disc three. Nice. There you go. Five out of six ain't bad. Was it six out of seven? Six out of seven, yeah. Uh, but it feels like the game spends most of the boss fights in disc three punishing you <laughs> for, um, for using the Dragoon transformation. <laughs> Because think about there's the, the Grand Jewel, which has the Dragon Block Staff. Right. Then you fight the Divine Dragon, which is really tough. Um, and you have to use the, uh, the Dragon Block Staff in that fight to make it fightable. Mm -hmm. So being a Dragoon in that fight is a death sentence. And then you fight Lloyd, who has an instant death attack that he only uses against you if you're a Dragoon. So it's like, hmm. Oh, what new bullshit is this? Ah. A magic missile. Ora, 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 ora. But as a mage. Oh, hmm. Hushell does not care. Ah, that still did a lot of damage. He does not care. <laughs> Yeah, 
he still does have a really high dodge rate, but at least you can hit him. It's better than literally every attack, you know, you can't hit him. Oh, this one again. Uh-oh. I think Hashel might die. I hope not. He did heal on his turn, so he's got almost 900 HP. I don't think that this attack dealt that much last time, because if it hits everybody, it's usually weaker. You may need to use a, a healing item after this, though. Nah, Mary's turn is coming up. I'll have her go Dragoon and use, uh... Yeah, use another Rainbow Breath if you've got it. Right. That'll save an item. We all know how you love to save items. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, spend them. I'm just trying to be efficient, man. I know, I know. Oh, oh he did go, though. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Eh. Dang. There we go. That did way more damage than I thought it was going to do. At least that heals half your HP, so like... You jerk! He just got up! Juggled! Ooh. Okay, now you can use a rainbow breath. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Suddenly this fight turned around, like, on a dime. Real hard. Nah, you got this. He's in the red. Just... Yeah, I'm not worried. He got his speed back is all. That's really what makes him more dangerous than anything else, is he's one of the fastest enemies in the game. And, uh, he does use it to punish you. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, he's got his coming. This is over. This was over the moment you stepped in the ring. <laughs> This has been a long time coming, Lloyd. Yeah, he's earned it. His whole, like, utopia bullshit. His maniacal plans. He's hurt a lot of people, so he deserves to have the hurt put on him, I think. He's earned it. There you go, beat his ass. Yes. Go. Ha, 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 ha. Hero. That's Too slow. Over here. Mm. For Lovitz. Drama, the tension. Beat his ass. You can see he's wounded. Wink. Oh, please, no. Idiot. Please forgive Lloyd. No. I don't no. think I should. No. She's had two encounters with him. He saved her he saved her life, arguably, like twice, and the second time he betrayed her and kidnapped her queen. And, and killed like, two people. And killed two people. Yeah, and she's just like, oh, I'm gonna throw myself in, you know, in, in front of a sword for him. He's so good for me. God, it makes me sick. I to can my change stomach. him. She needs a project. That's what it is. Uh, he is worth twelve thousand XP though. That's true. Hey. Hey. Oh, there you go. Cool boogie. Cool biggie. We love cool boogie. <laughs> All right, sure. I am very upset right now that Lloyd isn't dead. Oh, just prepare. I did warn you. I warned everybody. We're going to go outside and talk it out. Oh, he better not join my party. Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? 
Lloyd killed Levitz. I trust Dart with everything. He will bring us the right answer. Don't do that. I agree. Mm. I feel the same way. Ditto. Okay, Meru, I believe. Kongol nods solemnly. I... <clears throat> I hate this part. God, I hate this part. She teleports in out of nowhere. Uh, why? Anyway. Why? Yes, Lloyd asking the real questions. Why? Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from my own ideal and the divine moon object. See, even he's confused. Like, he it's is like, I'm the bad guy. Why did you save he is me? He's objectively the asshole in the room. And even he is confused. I used you. Even if it is the truth. The fact that you saved me is still true. Like, yes, for his own to ends, use you. so he could betray you. Besides, your death won't solve anything. Yes, it will. It will stop him from doing more of these horrible things. I don't believe in love for Lloyd. I don't believe in forgiveness or redemption for Lloyd. I believe in taking the Dragon Buster from Lloyd and stabbing him in the dick with it. <laughs> Shauna was taken away. Excuse me? That's why she. That's why she's here. That's why she teleported to the tower. But what did you say? By the man named Emperor Diaz. Uh, I was wondering when he would show up. He told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to Velweb. Hmm. Emperor Diaz. Finally, he has begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. Why are you now just giving them to me? Oh, you beat him in one-on-one -on -one in fair combat, so he's his dream is now yours or something I'm, anime like that. I'm very confused. Okay. Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. Okay, so you give the people <laughs> trying to stop that the objects you fought very long and hard for to make that a thing... Oh, he knows. Like, you're going to go see Emperor Diaz because as the heroes, that's all you can do, right? And then he's going to he's gonna kill you. So it doesn't matter, right? That's probably fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's so fine right now. Everything's so fine and good. I completed all my tasks. Now, I have to settle up for what I've done so far. <laughs> kill me and go to Velwe. I dedicate my death to your departure. Yes, Okay, please. don't have to ask me Dark's twice. Ready. <laughs> we just learned that from Miranda. Yeah. <laughs> That's very satisfying, but that didn't kill him. Is it out of pity? No, I want you to suffer more. You won't learn nothing if you're dead. Your death won't bring anybody who died back no, but it will make everyone else feel a lot better. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. He just leaves his sword. Why'd you leave your sword? <laughs> Passion. Is this the power that drives them? Furious. I. Every time. Very mad. Absolutely wroth. Now he's trying to explain himself. And then the whole gang punches him a bunch. And we have to cut to black because uh, we have to skip over the part that they can't explain, which is everyone else going, wait, you didn't kill him? <laughs> Get back in there. Shauna was... I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about the Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, he is dangerous. Besides, it is unforgivable to take our dear Shauna as a hostage for his... Utopia or whatever. Exactly. I'll beat him up, whoever he is. Queen Teresa, we're heading to Velweb. And we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. 
Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life that really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species, and all species were given life by Soa's plan. Now is the time to remember. The assault of the Divine Dragon, the existence of Winglies, the Divine Moon Objects, the utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire. And you, Dragoons. Everything is forcing us to remember it, as if things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even if so, I don't care. I will take Shauna back, even from fate. Catch Surge from Chrono Cross in the background, like, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah kick fate's ass! <laughs> Miranda, you are one of the Dragoons. Go with Dart. Discover the meaning of the fate given by Soa. Sure. Yeah. A lot of talk about fate in that cutscene. Um, am I going to fight God? It's a JRPG. That's fair. And Lloyd is also here. Yeah, limp home. Can I ask you one question? Yes. Why did you save Wink twice? So I could betray her three times. <laughs> I had no reason for doing that. I thought it was funny. I see. Hold up. Okay. Sure. Going immediately to check, like, he better not be at my party. Oh, thank no, God. Okay, worry. no, he's yeah. just a key item. <laughs> he's just plot. Cool. Now, uh, you can, if you want to save it, because this is a good stopping point, uh, oh. you could go up the teleporters because there are no monsters inside the tower. Right, yeah. Good Save idea. it at the top rather than walking back. Yeah. Save you a little time. Oh, Phew, God. What a time it's been. Damn, though. Damn. So, uh, I hope that you enjoyed playing along with us. That was um, that was a lot. I need a snack and a nap. <laughs> yeah, that part always kind of... Uh, I have a lot of feelings about this section of the game. Or frogs. I'll take frogs. Frogs are also good. Whew. So, well... Regardless of how any of us feel about it, we will be back with more Legend of Dragoon next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. And uh, we'll go from there and see what happens as we continue on to Disc 4, The End is in sight. I'm kind of excited. I want to see where this is all leading. I want to meet this Emperor Diaz asshole. Oh, yeah. I and mean, make him pay for all this crap that he set in motion for for the flaws that it has at least in, from my perspective the overarching story of legend of dragoon still is truly epic and it is a really good really well told story overall the fact that they managed to cram over eleven thousand years of story into this game especially when all of it takes place in the present and you only witness anything that happened before then, like in very brief flashbacks. You don't play through that section. You don't get to experience that history firsthand. That proves that the storytelling and the way that it delivers that history to you, uh, for me at least, is really successful. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you made it to the end of the stream, thank you very much. Be sure to follow and sub here on Twitch and head over to our YouTube channel unless you're already watching on YouTube after I've uploaded it to the playlist. Ah. <laughs> Ah, in this uh -huh. case, thank you, too. Thank you separately. Uh, and if you want to sub here, like this video, and leave a comment about how Lloyd makes you feel. Yeah, Tell let us, us let us know. Yeah, Do just, you think Lloyd deserved the redemption arc he got? Do you want to stab him in the face 20 times? I'm interested. Yeah, just unload on Lloyd in your, in the comments. Give us your hottest <laughs> Lloyd takes. <laughs> um, just, just, just release all of the Lloyd hate in the comments, please. And uh, don't forget that you can come back on Thursday for more Titan Quest also. 
I am still heading through the Eternal Embers DLC and it has been a lot of fun so far. I expect it will continue to be so because Titan Quest generally delivers on that front. Every time they come out with a new DLC, it's good. <laughs> it's just been a long time since the last one, but I mean, the game is over like 15 years old, so any DLC is a good DLC. <laughs> so Eternal Embers is amazing for me. I hope it'll be amazing for you as well, and I hope that you will have an equally amazing time when you come to join us on Saturday for Baldur's Gate as we enter the last chapter and we pursue Saravok for the final showdown. Ball spawn v ball spawn. Exciting. Yes, it's time. It's Climaxes. time to give our uh, our nasty big brother a kick in the fork yeah, cl- for all the stuff that he's done. <laughs> Climax is in sight. <laughs> yep, it is here. It is here. And uh, even though Elon Musk apparently just bought it, uh, I guess you can still follow on Twitter because we're stuck there and that's where we're gonna keep giving you channel updates like about games that are coming up polls where you can help decide new series things like that um unless you want to pledge to our patreon yeah because then you get to decide what the new series are before they go to that poll because i mean we live in america we absolutely listen to people who give us money i mean yeah i mean so if you (laughs) want to join us and you know we're listen listen we're all we're all unwilling slaves to capitalism. Unfortunately. So, like, I think it's five dollars a month well spent. That's, yeah. That's just me. That's just me. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you when we see you. I hope it will be all over, everywhere, forever. And as always, thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs>